it made me just go. Oh, well, hello there, guys and girls and fur babies and children and whoever's watching. I hope children aren't watching because I might swear. I have a bad habit of swearing, guys. Anyway, so I was going to put up this video today about some more lies. Um, well, yeah, lies and inconsistencies that I caught Cody in with a specific story. When I was searching for some footage that I needed, I found something else that I thought you all might enjoy a lot more. I know you're gonna enjoy it, trust me. I gotta start from the beginning of where I found this footage. So obviously, I found the footage on YouTube. So while I was searching for the footage that I wanted to show you guys, I came across something just totally out of the blue. It was a teaser with RIP Paranormal, Rhode Island Paranormal. Cody and Satori are in the teaser trailer, uh, exploring with Josh and Seth Borden are in it. So I took a look at it. A couple of things caught me on this teaser. But before I get to the teaser for the video, after I watched that teaser, the next video that came up was exploring with Josh, talking about how he doesn't really believe in Cody and Satori anymore. Um, he was saying, well, let me not just say what he was saying. Let me show you guys what he was saying. So hold on. I did a video on, on Cody and Satori where I filmed with them. I said in the video, I thought it was real. So, so I had this already filmed and what I thought of them before even Cody, uh, Sam and Colby released their Conjuring episode. And you can confirm that by either talking to some people, maybe them, or I could probably bring something up to confirm that. Oh, hold on, Josh. Let me confirm that for you. He did. He posted up a video in October of 2020. You guys have seen this before, but let me just put this clip in real quick in case Josh hasn't seen it. We have the ability to talk to spirits is kind of... Okay. They're knocking. It's They're walking crazy. in right now. Who the hell? Not that maybe it matters, I guess, but whatever. At that point, I was a strong believer with Cody and Satori. Moving forward now... With all these debunks coming out and how Cody, you know, is caught doing his, with his friend the alphabet or something even before Satori was there. So Josh, just in case you didn't see my last video, I'm going to stop saying that because you don't know who the fuck I am. I'm a small YouTuber and you're a big YouTuber. I did watch your whole video concerning Cody and Satori and even everything else you talked about after that. He did do this technique before with his very first team, Attleboro uh, Paranormal. So check this out. This is him doing the alphabet and the knocking that supposedly he's only ever done with Satori. Check it out, Josh. H. I. So is it one for yes, two for no? Is it B, I? How, you know, there's a lot of methods on how they can do the taps. I am not a full believer no more. But I can, but what I can't explain is how the taps can move around the room that you can almost feel like it's around and in, in, in different areas. So Josh, to answer your, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. So Josh, to answer your question about how can the knocking be heard all over the room? Well, simple. Sound is a type of energy which causes vibrations 
And these vibrations create waves that move through the air, the wood, uh, water. Um, and you can hear it with your ear as far as your ear will allow you to hear it. Like I might be able to hear a knock a lot further away than my other team members might be able to. But that's how the sound of the knock travels. I just wanted to fill you in on that. I know you're a paranormal investigator and you probably already know that, but um, just wanted to remind you because you might, you seem a little confused to me. Maybe it's because you're just upset about what your friends are doing. You know, I believe in Satori too. I got my heart broken. Yeah, sucks. Role model my ass. Let's move on. So it's really hard to believe some of these methods, but... It's great to see that people are doing it and trying to debunk it if it was fake. And it's cool that people are finding stuff about them that I didn't know about 11 years ago. So did they essentially lie about their story about when they held hands it worked? I think so. Okay, Josh. If this next clip that I show you does not give you any more clarity or a higher percentage that they are possibly faking this. I don't know what else to do except for, like you say, show us with your shoes off. Show us with your shoes off. But check out this clip. It was in one of my videos. Um, and I was caught off guard by it. And when I saw it, my whole mouth dropped. My whole mouth dropped. I was like, What? All right, let's just check it out. Um, okay, Sandy, listen to me, okay? Tonight, okay, I hear you're listening, thank you. It's like if Cody was already doing the tap method before, then yeah, I guess technically they lied about their story. So I'm not saying they're fake, but I'm not a full believer that I was in at all. Now, here's the thing. If they can do it without their shoes on now, completely off, showing their feet, I will be a full believer because I want to believe. I do want to believe. I want to believe that they weren't lying to me. Not just now, but even back then, four years ago when we filmed before. Okay, guys. So a little bit to cover here. Thank you, Josh, for allowing me to share your footage, even though I didn't ask. I hope that you don't mind. I am just as hurt by Satori and Cody as you are, um, and for my own personal reasons. I do have a question for you. In the teaser for uh, Rip Paranormal, when you and Zeth were um, investigating at the Rip Paranormal house in Rhode Island, I noticed something in that teaser. And I'm wondering if you have the rest of the footage for that, that you can show us. And if not, I understand that your own personal footage, they're your friends. You've promised not to show something or whatever it might be. Uh, but it might help clear up some things, at least for Satori. Maybe, maybe not. So I'm going to just share some of that footage um, with everybody. So... Again, Josh, I hope you don't have a problem with me sharing some of your footage. Like yourself, I'm just trying to get the truth out there. I'm not a debunker. I'm just someone who says, oh, I think you're lying. And I go and find facts to prove that you're lying. Not a debunker at all. But anyway, guys, let me roll into this video real quick and show you guys what I saw. It made me just go, No, get out of here. What the fuck? Okay, I know you guys are waiting. And Beardo, if you're watching, you might want to close your eyes on this one. I'm sorry. I know you ask people not to do this because you hate it, but I got to do it. I got to do it. So guys, here we go. Check this out and I'll be back. percentage between zero and a hundred do you think you're about to talk to the dead uh you're honest 
35 percent. 35? Yeah, what do you got? I, what do you got? I'm going to ask He's you that funny. same question before you leave. Yeah. So let you know. Okay. I'm trying to figure that out. I know, Josh. Like, what is it? What is it? Are they purposely doing it? Are they not purposely doing it? Who knows? We need to know. But this next footage, I think we all pretty much are going to know who does it. But then again, they could both be doing it. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the most important part of the footage now. All right. Sorry. It's taken me so long. Um, nine minutes and 46 seconds is what it's taken me. All right, guys. Let's watch the video. It's on cement now. <laughs> is that enough proof for you? Did you see Satori's feet in the flip-flops? Now here's the shit. Josh says, I believe it's Josh voice. I believe he says, wow, it's on cement now. And, Co and Satori says, is that enough proof for you? So how long had Josh known before he showed the world on YouTube that Cody and Satori had this ability. It makes you wonder. Hmm. Only Josh, Cody, and Satori know that, and they're close friends. Um, but I think I think Josh has some information that could help everybody out. Um, as you guys know, I am digging deep into this. I have found some somewhat good stuff. Um, that at least proves that they could be lying because they've lied on other things. But, uh, I was supposed to go to Attleboro the other day and it was raining and, um, I'll be heading there really soon. And that's where Cody's from. Uh, I know the high school he graduated from and I'll be heading out there too. I'm going to be talking to some people, but I'm really hoping that they just come clean confess to whatever it is they do and just end this. So if anybody knows anything that could help them say, Hey, we need to just tell people that we're faking. If we are faking, if they are faking, I don't know. I smoked too much shit today. Hold on guys. I need to take a puff or puff. Hold on. So if you have anything on Cody and Satori and you'd like to share it, but you don't want to put it out there yourself, hit me up. Put something in the comments, give me a way to reach out to you and let's talk about it because I'm digging deep. And my dilemma again is I don't want to hurt anybody that's directly involved. <coughs> a lot of you are saying, so what if it hurts Jason? So what if it hurts this person? I know that they've hurt a lot of people and they've scammed a lot of people if this is really fake, but there's other People that can be hurt just the same way these people were that they lied to. So I really, really got to think about stuff, but I'll keep bringing you stuff slowly, but surely. I know it's probably not slowly, but, um, I'll be, I'll bring you guys some stuff. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching exploring with Josh. Thank you very much for your footage. Again, I'm sorry for taking it without your knowledge. I hope that it's okay. Um, everybody go follow exploring with Josh I looked at his page. He's been on YouTube for a very, very long time. He's been to some really cool places and he's heading to some really cool place now, or he might already be there. I don't know. I watched a video about his life changing or something, but it was really interesting. Um, and if you want to see this full teaser that he did, go to rip paranormal R I P paranormal on YouTube and you can find it there. So guys, until the next time, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You guys have got us up over 500 people and i'm so so happy my team is happy we are 
so, so grateful to you all. So we'll be seeing you soon. We're going to start some podcasts coming up here. Um, hopefully at in March, at the end of the March, if not the beginning of April. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do have a lot of stuff to put out there and I'm just going to slowly do it slowly. Um, so, all right, guys, love, peace and hair grease. I'm out, bitches.